Hello everyone, and welcome back to Eternal Sonata. In the last episode, we found out that Captain Crescendo is actually Prince Crescendo, and his father, the king, is out on a healing trip. So he, uh, Prince Crescendo, is in charge of this dilemma that they're having with Forte Castle. So he has asked us to deliver a message to Jazz, so we decided to agree and we are heading out back to Retrodondo. So we're actually going to be going through Sharp Mountains. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the um, uh, at the top of the mountain was a volcano. So I find it funny that at the very top is volcano and at the very bottom is the snow. So I'm gonna take this guy out. Okay, so um, I realized after I defeated that monster that the outfit that I had on um, Salsa, the skull and bones that's right here, I was like, hey, 31 defense. Yeah, I didn't realize it had stop attached to it. So that means she was unable to attack at all. So I had to put a different outfit on her and then I went back to see if she, I can get a different, buy a different uh, armor and there was nothing. So, eh. Uh, okay, so which way do we go? Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Uh, is there anything up here? And, oh, look at those leaves. I like the texture on those. Nice use of color. Just like right here. Hi there. It's dangerous to wander around here right now. The monsters look like they're playing hide and seek or something. They are? Uh, I, I guess they are. Uh, what is he guarding? Uh, ooh. Wait, go back. What did I see? Oh, there's something buried here. Snow puff cookie. Ooh, yay. So snow puff cookies are just like um, a restoration item. So that's good. And it looks like there's a treasure chest up here. So this is actually ice that I'm walking up on and it's taking a really long time. All right, in that battle, Salsa and Frederick leveled up. All right, what's in this treasure chest? Shard of... I almost said shampoo. Sampo. <laughs> yeah, shirt of shampoo. Uh, let's see, who do I want to put this on? Let me see. So I put the shard on, it's actually a bracelet, and I put it on Salsa because she needed more defense. So there's nothing this way. What does this say? Dead end, both ways. <laughs> oh, look at the mushroomies. Are they mushrooms? Or are they sort, sort of a leaf turned inside out. I love the color scheme here, just the blues and the and the pinks of the little greens in mixed in. Yeah, I've noticed that all the months. Ooh, there's a door here. Oh, is this mysterious? Oh, it's not a door. Could Ezzy Ezza Sanctuary be up ahead? I don't think I should go in it. I'll just pray here. Okay. Alright, another icy slope that we have to go really slow on. And mountain path. Mountain path, okay. That, that way is the mountain upwards, so what's over here? Uh, can't go that way. Alright, so let's head up this way. Look at the icicles! Can we go this way? Oh, oh, I acquired a score piece. Sweet. Alright, and what's this way? Oh, uh, hi there. You're, you're new. <laughs> no, no, no. These things are interesting. They look like fish, but a giant horn in the front? Okay. Well, they don't, I mean, they look scary, but they're pretty weak, now apparently. Or I'm just over-leveled. I don't know. Nope. 
didn't quite take him out. Oh, it's a... Is this a swordfish? Tidal heave. And it looked like it was going sideways because it got everyone. Very interesting. Uh, no match. Come on, he had a bit guarding something. No? Nothing? Huh? Alright. Okay. Kinda sad that I fought him for nothing. Well, I did get experience. So, I guess that's something, I suppose. Oh, ice crystals. I want those. Let's see what's up here. I don't think I can make this. It's really steep. Huh? She seems to be walking just fine. Ooh, treasure chest! I think I came up here. Bird cloak. Uh, I bet that's for Frederick. Yep, it was for Frederick. And wee down the slide. All right, try not to go on this part because you'll just slide right down. Let's move on. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, there's some steps down here. Let's take this very slow walking up path. Yeah, we don't really want to fall because there's nothing but uh, mountain down there. Six point? Six point. Um, check these out. That's super amazing. Alright, in that battle, beat level up. What's in here? Ooh, a chakra. That is for Salsa. Alright, I decided not to equip those because it actually decreased her strength by a lot. So, is this the right path? Alright, so let's continue on. I don't know. If I mean, we're supposed to go upwards, definitely, but I don't remember... Alright, so what I was saying was, I don't know if this is the right way we should keep going, or if I should go back down the hill and check. So, I'm gonna go check real quick, and I'll be back. Alright, so we went and checked, and it literally was a treasure chest that we would have missed. So, ooh, elegant clothes. Cool. So I will equip those and I'll meet you back where we were. Alright, welcome back. So we're just gonna head up this way and around the corner. Uh, another branching path. Let's see. Lodge! Ooh, cool. We'll go stay at the lodge real quick. Slowly walk up the stairs. Yay! Alright. Uh, what's over here? It's so cold up in this mountain. My nose won't stop running. It is kind of cold. Why don't we all rest for a while in this little lodge? Huh? Who in the world would be flying a kite all the way up here on top of a mountain? Hmm? That's not a kite, it's a dove. But I'm surprised to see one flying over a cold, snowy mountain like this. It's strange. Who cares about a bird at a time like this? Let's just go inside already. So Clavace became enamored with him, even though she knew she couldn't escape her deception. And that he'd eventually learn she was a spy. Oh well, once we have an endless supply of insane soldiers, there'll be no need to spy on Andantino. What about the one in Baroque? You mean Serenade? No, she's very dependable. And besides, her interests coincide with mine. What do you mean? Forte would be in a difficult position if we were to be attacked before we finished developing a more powerful mineral powder. Even when Serenade marries into Baroque, 
She is still a princess of Forte. She's the perfect person to prevent Baroque from starting a war with us. She won't let them follow a path that could harm Forte. More importantly, Fugue should be searching a go-go forest for glowing a go-go's. I want you to go there as well. And if he's slacking off, give him some encouragement. Yes. Ah, it's so warm in here. Hmm. There's something familiar about this place. It reminds me of my home in Tenuto. Ah, what's going on? Well, you see... Each and every one of us has a jewel inside our hearts. A jewel? That's right. And that jewel is called an astra. For some people, it glows very brightly, but for others, not as much. Nevertheless, everyone has one. I wonder how much your astra is glowing. some cookies I ate without asking you, so... Maybe mine's not glowing. I'm sorry. Ah, so it was you that ate them. But you told me the truth, so it's all right. I'm sure that your Astra is still glowing. I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Hey, Mommy, do I still have time? If I do a whole bunch of good things, will it glow even more? Of course it will. Then I'll start tomorrow. Oh, you won't start today? Oh, Polka. Your Astra is glowing. But it's glowing far too brightly for this world. It's glowing so brightly that it is unconsciously leading you toward a deep darkness, one that must be illuminated. And then someday, the time will come when the abyss of the sea will open up before you. Oh, I wish, how I wish you weren't the only person who could bring light to that dark ocean floor. If only there was someone else who could take your place then it really wouldn't matter if your light ever dimmed. Polka, what's the matter with you? Hey, are you feeling all right? Uh, uh, it's nothing. I just felt dizzy for a minute. That's all. Well, the mountain air up here is very thin. Perhaps that was what caused your dizziness. Thin air, huh? Now that you mention it, my head has been hurting too. I guess it's just time for us to take a break. My legs are all worn out from all that climbing anyway. I agree. Let's try and get a little rest before we continue on, alright? I'm being led toward a darkness that must be illuminated? The abyss of the sea will open before me? What does it all mean? Well, that was interesting. Uh... Um, I hope Polka doesn't jump into a dark, deep abyss. That would be really sad. But, uh... So, we made it to here, and I think this is a good stopping point for us. So, in the next episode, we're going to continue our way to up the mountain and hopefully make it to Retrodondo. And hopefully we don't run into the assassinator of Clavis. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep on smiling. Oh, uh, I guess I should open this chest before we leave. Uh, Warhammer gun! Sweet! That's for B! I will see you guys then. Bye.